This party lasted for an entire week. The Pan-African Dance Festival of FACEPAD, which is held every two years, was started in 1998 by the African Union to promote peace and African culture. This year's theme was traditional dance and marks the seventh time Rwanda is hosting the event. FISPAD has become a potpourri of performing arts over the years with various international dance styles and musical acts on display. We are happy that you were joined by our friends, brothers and sisters from across Africa and beyond. So, let us dance, let us celebrate Africa. It is now my great pleasure to declare FESPAD 2010 officially open. Thank you very much. Veteran Caribbean band Kassav was one of the main attractions this year. The group shot to international fame in the late 1970s and is credited with taking Zouk music onto the world stage. Kassav performed at FacePad with more than 20 albums under their belts and left with their reputation for putting on a great show intact. The company Ego Dance Troupe is another one of the 150 artists that featured at the festival. The French hip-hop dance group is not well known in Rwanda, but they hope their participation in FESPAD will give them more African fans. C'est quelque chose qu'il faut continuer de faire, et c'est quelque chose qui this kind of festival should be carried on, maybe even be done more often. I understand that financing is not always easy, but it helps people to meet and to bring cultures together, people who would otherwise not meet. Our show, a street dance that we perform in France, is a caricature. It tries to show how people who initially do not see each other when they pass by slowly begin to notice each other, begin to know each other, and little by little stories develop between people from different social backgrounds, between opposites, between the beggar and the beautiful woman, between the businessman and the little child. But despite its recent international flavor, FESPAD is still about African culture and art whether it's Egyptian dancers or Burundian dramas. I enjoy the traditional dances most because I go to one, I think, or two about history. Nowadays, things have changed, culture has changed. So it was really nice to see the performances. This festival is a good idea because for the youth who know nothing about their culture, we get to appreciate and understand why things are the way they are. We also got to learn the same about different cultures worldwide. 
Africa's unique performance culture and heritage is often forgotten or lost in the stream of negative news and ignorance about the continent. And that's the importance of events like FISPAD, which switch the focus for a while and give Africans from various corners of the continent a chance to celebrate and strut their stuff.